my San Diego Fitness, the War Report. Uh, first video I made for this new series I'm running. Uh, I made a video on the ride in from the gym, but still trying to figure out flipping the video from the iPhone to the PC, and it's I almost threw the iPhone out the window, but back to this older camera. Still works, still good. Um, but what I want to talk about, basically, like I said in my other video, with these war reports is, you know, what happened in the gym. There will be video footage, you know. I just wasn't able to get my camera into the gym this morning. Um, but I was explaining to a couple people on Twitter this new chest routine. Uh, basically, all you need is one piece of equipment. If your gym has it, which I, you know, I hope it does, or you can use it with dumbbells, um, I'll probably start doing that too, is a Smith machine. And a lot of people frown upon the Smith machine and, and you know, oh, that's, you know, that's not real benching, this and that. For me, it's been working well because I got a bum shoulder and it makes me focus more on the form, which I'm trying to do with everything now. Uh, a lot less pressure on my shoulder, which allows me to work my pecs more. Um, but what you want to do is set the Smith machine up. Uh, a lot of Smith machines, like I found online, some of them, the benches will look like that and allow you to go up and down with each click. Or some of them are set up like this. But you know, you pull the little lever out, it clicks down, clicks up. But you want to set it to as low as it'll go. A lot of them will go into a decline. So you want to start a decline. And you're doing two sets of 10 reps. You know, you want to warm up first before any exercise in the gym. Five, 10 minutes, light cardio. Um, and then before any new routine you're doing, whether it's pushing, pulling, or legs, you want to do a couple sets at low weight, maybe even no weight, just the bar, just to get the blood flowing. You know, it's basically like a car. You know, when it's cold out, you get in the car, you turn it on, you turn the heat on, you're not going to get heat. The car's not warmed up, the fluids aren't hot yet. So it's basically like your body. You need your body to warm up. You need the fluids to circulate, you know, between the joints so you don't have the joint pain. Um, same thing but set it at its lowest point and then you're gonna do two sets 10 reps at the lowest point and then click up to a flat bench same thing two sets 10 reps each time you're trying to move the weight up if you you know if you're getting 10 good reps on the same weight okay but you know five ten pounds here and there you, you want to try to increase the weight each time you do it each set but if, if you're getting a solid and you feel like you're getting a good pump out of each rep stay with that weight and then from the flat bench you're going to go up one click and you're going to get to the point not to where you know the bench is like this where you would do a shoulder press but about a 45 50 degree angle on the, the one I did at, at uh, my gym I think it was like five clicks up so in total you're going to get between 60 and 80 or even 80 and 100 reps just on chest and you're going to be hitting the pec muscle from all angles uh, solid, solid chest uh, routine. And then after that, I hit some triceps, some over-the-head cable extensions, uh, bar press downs, rope press downs, and then hit cardio, man. You know, cardio's anymore. I'm adding into each routine. You know, 15 minutes, three minutes high, two minutes low, three minutes high, two minutes low, and so on. And if I have more time, I'll do about 20 minutes. But you want to get the cardio in. And while you're doing the cardio, if you're on a treadmill like I am, you're stretching. That's when you want to start really stretching. Really, you know, making sure the shoulders are getting stretched. And, you know, stretching your chest and stuff like that. For after you just destroyed your muscles, you know, pushing the weight. Now you want to stretch them out. You can store, still sort of get that uh, muscle fiber breakdown, which allows for muscle growth. That's how it works. You know, but... You know, I'm really excited about this new series, The War Report, you know, live from the battlefield. If you don't know what I'm talking about, battlefield meets the gym. War Report is what you did in the gym, you know. And like I wanted to say, I was thinking about it on the ride into work. Like, shout out to all the people who finally got over that fear and either got a gym uh, membership or picked up weights or, or, or are doing something to better their health in the fitness field. And, you know, when you better your health, you're better, bettering your mentality that's a word but I'm gonna go with it but you know it, it's a big deal to some people to get over that hump where you know you're afraid to go to the gym you're afraid that someone's looking down on you don't be remember when you walk in that gym is you versus you that's all it is that's all it ever will be
keep the ego at the door, you're going in there to be a better you. You know, and I promise you, I, I will promise you, when you go in that gym and you do what you want to do and you destroy that workout, you will leave that gym. You'll be sore, but your mentality and attitude will be 10 times better than when you went in that gym. You know, so, you know, like the video if you like it. Leave comments at the bottom, please. I really appreciate your support. Right now, we're at 272 subscribers. That's big for me. That's really awesome. You know, I want to get to 1,000 in 2015. Again, subscribe, like the video. Appreciate y'all. Have a great day.